Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. There are billions of people, or it seems to be that many people, using Skype these days. And now that Microsoft's acquired it, I'm sure even more people will be using Skype. It's a great way to communicate with other people on just about any platform in particular. I've never been a huge fan of Skype. Uh, I would say largely because the interface, at least on the desktop, kind of sucks. And uh, it has continued to suck over time, uh, you know, even on a Mac OS X or Windows. It doesn't matter which platform. Uh, uh, Skype is just kind of, uh, really? And I don't know if you knew about this, but uh, there's a recent vulnerability that could reveal to somebody else uh, your, your history of uh, uh, file downloads. Uh, they can find out. And so if you have not updated your Skype client, uh, you should. What are you waiting for? Well, I don't want the new version. You need the new version, dude. Anytime there's a new version of software, you need to update, even if you think it sucks, because there are security issues they have likely patched. Even if they don't say we uh, have patched these security issues, knowing, knowing that each new version may not be great, but that it's likely going to carry with it security patches, that is the number one reason to upgrade. So we've created an article for you to, to really educate you a bit about uh, how to use Skype safely and if, if nothing else let this serve as a warning that if you didn't know this vulnerability existed know that it does now uh it, it could happen with any im client it's not just related to skype uh but some of the suggestions we make in uh, this article about skype security things you know you, you would think oh well i i use skype this way well you may still be impacted you take a look uh if you have not yet set a strong password that would be my recommendation, number one. I would say that for any uh, software. And so again, let this serve as a reminder. Of course, keeping things up to date, uh, making sure that your computer itself uh, is uh, secure. And then more than anything, uh, and this is, this is kind of, a, I didn't even realize it until I read the article that was written, uh, configuring Skype correctly can also make a difference. And uh, the, the way it was uh, written in the article, and this is just one passage. Again, we have other tips for you about Skype in the article. The Skype client has a variety of different security configuration options available. In the Preferences menu, you can access an array of various settings to customize and secure your personal data. In addition, you may want to check out the Advanced tab and turn off Wi-Fi if you are visiting any public or otherwise potentially insecure locations. And I don't mean insecure like, you know, oh, is someone going to steal my data? I mean, like, not secure. Unsecure? Insecure? Not secure at all? Uh, there's an option that you may want to toggle. I don't even think I have that option turned on anywhere because I'd rather not, uh, you know, have to remember, oh, yeah, i got to remember to toggle that off. It's just best to be safe with this kind of stuff, especially when we're talking about potentially your personal data that could be compromised. Play it safe, stay up to date, and uh, of course if you have any other security tips uh, or even other Skype tips, uh, we'd love to hear them.